Alright, so this guy looks slightly evil. Um, yeah. And um, that's because we have VPR on and VPR is not rendering that uh, the subsurface is scattering on the ice, which is what it is Sigma 2. It's not rendering Sigma 2 in VPR. Not in 2000, I mean in Lightwave 11.6. However, the other, this other uh, simple skin is rendering in VPR, so that's why it looks kind of angry, kind of, yeah. The thing is, uh, I was actually going to add fiber effects, but then I found this, uh, found that I had to tweak this render, because the eyes here are kind of like off. Uh, they are flat, completely flat, so I was like, how can I fix that? How can I do that? Um, so, for some reason, the eyes do not render very well in, um, in um, using simple skin. So, uh, let's see, if I take simple skin here, take those, render them, the eyes will look damn flat. Uh, so I tried like a bunch of stuff and it would just look flat. Uh, couldn't really get it to work. So um, it looks like they're kind of like drawn on top. Now, now it didn't look that bad, of course. But uh, that's this is because I had to tweak the image in order to get the other one to work. Uh, so the other one, erp, the other one, when you render it, not the preview, but the render, oh, it looks spooky. It looks much better. It has uh, subsurface scattering to it. Um, Now, this is not a final, it's not tweaked. You can see that definitely it does have um, that soft look. Um, let's see. So yeah, I edited this image. Uh, I should probably edit it more, but I'm not really sure why it's receiving that much red color when I, I mean, put this down to this level, still, I don't know, it's still, um, using a very high, uh, oh, high saturation, I don't know why. So I thought that it could be the GI, but it's not, um, so you can see here that it's actually good, but oh, you know what? It might be one of the other layers. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just can't get that red to disappear. This looks exactly the same. Um, so I'm not sure what's up with that. If I crank it up, it will um, yeah, you'll see that that gets cranked up as well. Um, no, actually not that much. Okay, so there's something going on here that I just don't I don't know. I need to I need to look into that what's 
was up with that really. Anyway, uh, the subsurface scattering is much better. It's uh, quite soft though in the corner of the eye, so um, I mean, not or at the very edge here of the iris. Um, and that's because of the subsurface scattering, so I'll have to remove some sub subsurface scattering in this area, so I'll probably have to make an image map to, to fix that. Um, but yeah, tweaking the eyes is, is tricky. See, I said uh, a transparency amount here, uh, quality uh, lower, so uh, that creates this edge here on the eye. Um, it's not really receiving the shadow that I would want for it to receive. Uh, I would like for this to be darker, but well, or yeah. Um, but really, tweaking the eyes is about the most difficult thing you could do. Uh, I did set color space to sRGB, but that screwed things up <laughs> totally. So I'm not sure why that is. Maybe that's a bug. Uh, because the render just went bananas. Um, no, I mean like really bananas. Um, it would completely distort the colors. So that's probably a bug. Anyway, um, so yeah, Sigma just looked flat. I mean, Simple Scan looked flat. Sigma looks soft. Um, What else? Uh, yeah, when when uh, when you render this uh, guy, be sure to set be set be sure to set this to per object level because it was set to per pixel per point or something like that per polygon or something like that, and there's I just screwed up the render. So do that. And again, you can download it from here. You see the link here. Uh, this image is gone though, so it's kind of like, yeah. But click on this missing image and it will download the file. What else? Anything else? Uh, no, not really. Well, the the GI I use is just regular Monte Carlo and interpolated. Nothing special about the camera setting. I changed to perspective and uh, you know, assembled some line. The render is quite fast. Um, hello. Um, it actually only took uh, two minutes, 40 seconds on an old uh, 2600K processor, and that's, uh, yeah. So, if you have a new, fairly up to date CPU, then you should be able to render this in like one minute and 30 seconds. And the resolution here is 1280 
by 900 or so. I'm using the screen recorder here, so it's probably going to render slightly slower. you're tweaking the scene and you want the eyes to look more normal you can just click uncheck edit nodes and it will delete that uh, subsurface scattering that is causing the eye to get black you remember X files those people with, with like black goo in their eyes all right. Um, so yeah, definitely you can see that uh, the subsurface scattering is much better as far as uh, the eyes go. Um, the ears could have subsurface scattering to them, but uh, that's another go. If you tweak the scene, you, you should be able to get a much better result. Uh, but really, a, a huge thank you to uh, 1024 for uh, sharing this scene. Yeah, like three minutes using a video recorder. So of course, uh, uh, this is without post, so check out, uh, check out um, tricks from uh, Gerardo using uh, Depont filters and uh, stuff like that. I could uh, this is some this is what I do sometimes just to you now tweak it real fast uh, Yeah, this is where you want to ask yourself if you want to do that in uh, if you want to do that. Can't recall what it's uh, uh, what is it called? It's called yeah tone mapping. J forgot the tone mapping. Anyway. You can see here that I'm not quite satisfied with this eye, um, even though it's much better. 
So I don't know if I set that to Again, it's always quite difficult to, to get that right. The eye is just about the most difficult thing you could tweak, really. Right. Um, that's it for now.